Hello students, my name is Mrs. Bales and today I'm going to go through with you something very important that we're seeing as a bit of an issue here at Beverage. Um, that is email etiquette. Okay, Email etiquette is how you should conduct yourself on Outlook or on our emailing account through Office 365. It's very important that we learn email etiquette now so that when, when we become adults, we know how we should respond via email. As you can see, here I have an email that is addressed to me from a Miss Kristen Tipler, and it's to all the middle school reading skills teachers and all the instructional facilitators in the middle school. So it's a lot of people. If I were to reply to this email, I would want to just hit the one arrow and reply only to Miss Tipler, okay? Only to her. If I wanted everyone to have my information, then I could click the double arrow that's called reply all, and I could reply to everyone. Please keep in mind that it is frustrating for people who aren't involved in a conversation to hear from you or continually get emails all day. That can be extremely distracting to other people. So it's very important that you know the difference between reply to the one person who wrote you the email and reply all, which would be to everyone, okay? Now, when we make an email, this is something that's also extremely important. Let's say we are going to email one of our teachers. I'm gonna type in Ruth Gustash. Now, for you, when I type in Ruth DeStash, only Mrs. DeStash pops up. But for you, all of your classes with Ms. DeStash in them also pop up. We want to make sure when we send an email to a teacher, it's just their name. It's not their class with a bunch of numbers on it. Okay, so if I'm typing an email to Mr. Otero, I'm going to type in Otero, and I'm going to make sure it says mark.otero at ops.org, not my whole class. We need to make sure we double check this. So let's say I'm sending an email to Mr. Sash and Mr. Otero, and it's to them, but I also want their principal, Mrs. Molina, to see the conversation. That would mean I would CC her. Maybe I want her to have the information, but I don't need her to respond to me. That's what a CC is. We always want to put a subject in our email that will tell our teacher what the email is about. So let's say I was emailing them about class next Tuesday. Now, notice I capitalized every letter in my subject, kind of like the title of a book. Now, I also want to give them a nice greeting. So I want to say something along the lines of, hello, Mrs. Vistache and Mr. Otero. Thank you for inviting me to your class on Tuesday. I cannot wait. Now, we also want our email to have an appropriate ending, such as, Sincerely, comma, Jacqueline Bales. Now, I would want to use my first name and my last name. Notice my email is organized, it's structured, it's professional, and our teachers will really appreciate that and be extremely impressed by you when you do that. Please remember, students, our email is not for us to chat with our friends during class. That can be very distracting. We have to make sure that when we are emailing our teacher, we are just emailing them, not our entire class, because that really clutters up people's email boxes. Also, if you receive an invite to something, that does not mean that you should reply all to that invite. That is extremely distracting and it takes away from people's learning. So we want to make sure we know the difference between reply and reply all.